Our daydream believer, handicap for two year olds and out well. Ma there market he goes. in play. Stride early on. Flash Betty and Danger Close in the dark jacket up the inside as Flash Betty's rider just grabs hold there. Danger Close a little bit short of room. So as they settle down, there he goes. White sleeves, blue and white of jam tart. They're pursued by Torshi in the centre of the chasing trio on the outside of Flash Betty. Then our daydream believer and Danger Close was shuffled to the back after that early check. So out in the lead, there he goes, has the advantage from Jam Tart in blue and white. Torshi is in third place. Down the outside, Danger Close is getting going. Flash Betty on the inside running rail is just looking for a split as they make their way past the final two furlong point. Right hand side, there he goes. Flash Betty challenging amongst horses with Jam Tart and Danger Close right down the outside who's come right from the back of the field. There he goes, under Ryan Tate, still has the advantage and it's a good length and a half now from Flash Betty in second place, disputing that with Danger Close. Toast to the line. There he goes. Flash Betty certain play. Maroon and yellow check. Gullen one tucks in behind them. Yellow sleeves, white cap out deep. Alex Gracie with that one in the maroon jacket with the silver chevron. And further towards the inside is the grey bay in the yellow and dark blue. Indian Pursuit's a little bit worse than the centre pack. is followed by Red Zone. Smomato second last and the slow starter Lincoln Gamble is at the back of the field. And Paul Hannigan's got that one about eight lengths off the leaders, which continues to be Garat and Gullen one as they swing the turn back towards the home straight. Coming back towards the final two and a half, then Karat towards the inside. Gullen one a little bit deeper. Alsvinder right in behind them, followed by the Grey Bay. Sfumato picking up from the back. Also kept going out wide is Alex Gracie, followed by Indian Pursuit. Lincoln Gamble's not got in it, and neither has Red Zone. Back towards the final furlong. They come now then. Karat battling away towards the far side of Gullen one. Alsvinder trying to get there. Sfumato's trying to go right over the top between horses. The Grey Bay. Gullen one in front. Sfumato starting to mow him down. They race up towards the line, Sfumato hits the front and Sfumato goes on to win to Gullen 1. Jump away over a mile three and a half for the in follow play. races on Twitter handicap, contingency fee and moves to a narrow lead early on with Harbour Force as they race through the first furlong. Third for Lady Alicia horse with the white face, grey jacket moving up to dispute second with Harbour Force. It's how we roll, yellow and maroon with the cheek pieces on the inside of Suns Up, Guns Up as they're about to join the race course proper having raced through the first couple of furlongs and contingency fee largely unpressed on the lead, setting a steady gallop. Lady Alicia is in second place with Harbour Force in third. Suns Up, Guns Up is in fourth place and half a length to It's How We Roll as they continue their progress towards the final nine furlongs. Grace McEntee out in the lead as they'll cut the corner on contingency fee. Lady Alicia at her beloved bath in second place. Just drifting back, Harbour Force now disputes third with Suns Up, Guns Up, orange jacket towards the outside. And then right at the back in the yellow and maroon is It's How We Roll as they continue their progress racing away from us. And they're now heading towards the final six and a half furlongs. Contingency fee out in the lead and continuing to hold that advantage of a length over Lady Alicia in second. Suns Up, Guns Up improves up on the outside in the orange jacket from Harbour Force and it's how we roll. Noses up the inside as they'll shortly now take the bend at the far end of the race course. Just over five furlongs to travel. Contingency fee continues to cut out the running. Lady Alicia in second. Just about a line of three for third now. Suns Up, Guns Up on the outside of the nose banded Harbour Force and the cheek pieces on the right belong to its how we roll so contingency fee out in the lead just over just under now half a mile to travel we'll turn in with lady alicia in second harbour force pushed along in third on the outside of its how we roll and suns up guns up is now the back marker orange jacket just switching back towards the inside so for the first time contingency fee is asked to try and shake off the pursuers they're headed by its how we roll who moves to within the neck of the lead lady alicia in third then suns up guns up on the left hand side is harbour force contingency fee on the right the white cheek pieces of its how we roll lady alicia comes next as they make their way uphill with a furlong to go it's how we roll contingency fee battling on lady alicia suns up guns up contingency fee having a really good battle with its how we roll it's apart as they run to the line. Contingency fee goes on again close home. And the roll continues for contingency. Market Raphael in play. Last to leave the stores. King Mon's boy is rousted along by Hayley Turner on the inside. She clearly wants to make the running. 
and is doing so now from his stories in a second. Midfield is third, Tindrum on the outside. Raffiot recovering a bit round the inside in the light blue cap worn by Tom Queeley, the light blue jacket of Kozo and further back, just passed now by the favourite Chayo Power, King Power Racing Colours, blue with the white hoop and the striped sleeves. Well grouped together as they race towards the left-hand turn, which will spin them away towards the one-mile starting point. And up ahead is King Mon's Boy, by just under a length to midfield now, the Samar Prescott train fully going into second under Luke Morris. Tindrum has been woken up already on the outside, not travelling, followed by Raffiot, and then Historius, Koza on the inside, and Chayo Power. So they run along the side now and on towards the seven furlong marker. And King Mon's boy taken on by Tindrum, who's had to be ridden to, to get competitive. Tindrum going up on the outside of King Mon's boy. Midfield is third. Raphael on the inside. Historius, Cozone, and Chayo Power waited with at the back of the field and given plenty of di daylight by Sylvester de Souza, maybe just beginning to take closer order. About to run inside the final five and a half furlongs and now rounding the top turn and Chayo Power is definitely on the move. Goes up into third place now. Tindrum just the leader from King Mon's Boy. Chayo Power closing all the time. Midfield now driven along. Raffiot travels okay. Kozo likewise. And then Historius inside the four and swinging on now down the hill towards the home turn. And Tindrum, King Mon's Boy struggling to keep up on the inside. Chayo Power coming there very strongly indeed midfield under a strong drive out wide. Raffiot just following through Chayo Power, then Cozone. King Mon's boy has dropped away and then Historius into the home turn. Tindrum the leader, but maybe on sufferance here because looming up on the outside is Chayo Power. Cozone in behind them, uh, begins to stay on and then Raffiot as they run down the home straight. Chayo Power goes on into the lead now. Has to be woken up though from in second Tindrum. Cozone is trying to stay on, but it's a six length deficit as they race up towards the line and this is going to be a good start for favourite backers here as Chayo Power draws away under Sylvester De they're off. Racing over seven Market in play. A bit slow to go. So too Caligany Kate. There's a bit of a scramble on for the lead in the belated happy 70th birthday. Tony Morgan restricted maiden. It's better half who's won the duel for the lead so far in the green and white hoop jacket. Tajalula prominent in the red and green colours and tucked in behind them Tim Buck One in the dark blue and yellow quarters. Revocable next. Orange, sleeve, orange stars on the black sleeves and a purple cap. Followed by Clifford who's centre field and that one's followed by uh, Moonby. Behind Moonby towards the rear of the field, the slow starters, Caligony Kate setting well back in the field, Royston Girls well back, and so too Honest Lawyer. So they're leaving the back stretch behind them, swinging the left handed turn back towards the final three and a half they come, so passing halfway. And up front, it's better half in front by a neck to Taj Alola racing second. Two lengths to Timbuk, one in third position. Clifford now squeezed along towards the outside of Revocable. Behind that one, Moonby is well back, so too Caligony Kate. No move from Royston Girls, still well back in the field as they head down the home straight back towards the final two furlongs. Honest Lawyer is still at the back. Still better half then inside the final two. Better half by about a half length. Taj Alola ranging up sides though has taken it on. Taj Alola goes on. Try to battle back. Better half. Tim Buck ones in behind them, followed through by Revocable. Royston Girls running on from the back, but up front it's Tajalola who's got first run inside the final half furlong. Tajalola booting away by two to three lengths. The cavalry are coming behind, but Tajalola will go on to score. Revocable might. They're off. Market in the play. Out to the right on jumping. Rebel Spirit has uh, veered badly and given them a bit of a start, and Stockhill Dream was the other one who was slow away. So they show their inexperience as out in front, DC's Edge, and just coming past the on the inside of the first two to show. Point Louise races in third place with Aradina in fourth, and now rushing up on the outside, Rebel Spirit, who's taking a fearsome grip, along with Stockhill Dream. They were the last two. They're making such rapid progress that in the case of Rebel Spirit, we'll be pressing the leader in a moment or two's time. So DC's Edge, as they approach the bend from Rebel Spirit, who's overcome that errant start to now sit in second place. Just coming past, he races in third with Aradina. Stockhill Dream has hung badly on the turn, so having been slowly away is not helping her chances at this stage as Point Louise is held up at the back of the six strong field who've reached halfway. DC's Edge on the inside of Rebel Spirit in the yellow colours, just coming past the white sleeves with the darker cap in third. Stockhill Dream down the outside of Aradina and Point Louise just moving off the running rail now as DC's Edge is under pressure passing the three. 
He'll begin to bunch up behind Rebel Spirit. Down the outside, Stockhill Dream, Aradina. Point Louise now getting involved, looking for a split amongst the front two. Then just coming pasty as they make their way uphill. Two furlongs to travel. DC's Edge on the right. Point Louise down the centre of the race course. Aradina with Stockhill Dream. And these four now move on. Point Louise in the yellow sleeves. Aradina, the white sleeve jacket. Stockhill Dream down the outside. Point Louise has the advantage with 100 yards to go. It's Point Louise out in front. Aradina. Legs splaying in second place, but can't get by. Point Louise off the mark for it's Tanashi, the market in play field, through the first furlong. Pearly Prince was a bit slow into stride, recovering to midfield as Bagatelle goes into an early lead from Blair Logie, and then Fox Lester, the grey uh, blue cap uh, aboard the rider, just getting to take it up now. Fox Lester from Bagatelle, Blair Logie. Uh, Pearly Prince back on the inside, passed by Cafe Milano in a black jacket. And then to the outside in the uh, green is Global Style. As they race on towards the seven full on marker, back in the field is Manzil, then Ruby Gates and Voir and the Warrior. Nashi is towards the back alongside Homegrown Alligator. Heading towards that top turn, and it's Fox Lester that's sent on by Sylvester de Souza, seeking a double here, Sylvester. Followed by Bagatelle, Cafe Milano just behind Blair Logie on the inside. They're followed by Pearly Prince and then Global Style. Manzil to the inner voir, further back just behind Ruby Gates in white sleeves and a blue cap, the Warrior, and then Nashi and Homegrown Alligator. Rounding the top turn and approaching the four furlong marker. And Fox Lester continues to make it. A half length to Bagatelle in second. Blair Logie round the inside. Then Cafe Milano getting a shake of the reins from Pearly Prince. And then Global Star looking to the outside. Homegrown Alligator making some headway ahead of the Warrior. Avoir is in amongst the field. Up the inside, Manzil is struggling. Nashi is behind a wall of horses making some ground now, though. In the black cap towards the inside. We'll need some luck from there. Meanwhile, up ahead, Fox Lester is kicking for home. It's Fox Lester by a couple of lengths or so to Bagatelle. Blair Logie round the inside. Cafe Milano, Nashi, Pearly Prince, Global Star down the outside. Fox Lester, if anything, extending the advantage inside the final furlong. It's four lengths now to the Chasers and racing up towards the line. It's Sylvester de Souza for a second winner on the car from just two races and Fox Lester wins the seller. Global Star stayed on... Bucket in play. Stakes. Flinders Lane just a little bit outpaced, leaving the stalls. Good start up front by Ventura Rascal, the pale blue orange epaulets, horse in a noseband. Further towards the inside, Hope Probe in the black and red. Three deep tailored, also pale blue colours with a noseband, and out wide of runners is Merry Secret, the white jacket with the red cap. Tucked in behind the front runners races Little Gem in dark blue and yellow, and then towards the inside, Time Has Wings, the black with yellow helmets and a red cap, and a little bit outpaced still Flinders Lane in the two shades of green at the back, green at the back of the field. Leaving the back stretch behind them then, back towards the halfway point, and up front it's Ventura Rascal and Kevin Stott by about a neck to Mary Secret and Ben Curtis racing second. A length and a half to Hope Probe on the inside of Tailored, racing together behind those both Little Gem and Time Has Wings, and Flinders Lane is tailed off. Swinging the turn back towards the home straight, then they've got two and a half furlongs to go from here. And up front, Ventura Rascal's trying to get away off the front, but almost upsides is Merry Secret. Gap of a couple of lengths to Hope Probe, who's next in the field. Tailored trying to stay on behind that one. Back towards the final furlong and a half. Far side, Ventura Rascal digging deep here, trying to hold off Merry Secret, who's a persistent threat, and now tries to range up sides again. Back towards the final half furlong. They're having a right set to these. Ventura Rascal towards the far side. Merry Secret towards the near side. Hope Probe trying to finish. They race up towards the line. Ventura Rascal just. Market. Market in play. Champagne High Life slow into stride, unlike lovely acclamation SG Nixon, also on the inside Honey Pot as they race through the first furlong or so. Also trying to make a little bit of progress up on the outside to join in is Sheila O'Shea, lovely acclamation, Hurricane Helen with Thunder Road also in that little group with Jagger Nori and SG Nix. And they continue to show a couple of lengths clear from Bayamon Bell. No, no, Cardinal is in that rear group with Eloquent Charm and the two slow starters, Air of York and Champagne High Life. Honeypot has the lead as the bend approaches by a length from Sheila O'Shea, the grey Hurricane Helen. Then Lovely Acclamation, who races on the inside of Thunder Road, who's making ground round the outer. Available Angel Jaganori, and on the inside, SG Nix make up the next wave. Jaganori are pulling his way forward in the blue visor. No, no, Cardinal comes next with Bayamon Bell, Air of York, Eloquent Charm, and Champagne High Life. 
So turning past the halfway stage, Honeypot by a neck from Sheila O'Shea and Thunder Road, improving on the outside in the green cap. Hurricane Helen, lovely acclamation and Jagger Nori, with pull to the outside available, Angel beginning to make ground. SG Nix comes next from Bayham on Bell, heir of York and No-No Cardinal. Honeypot still has the lead, improving his Hurricane Helen the Grey to move through and challenge. Thunder Road towards the outside available, Angel in black and red colours, pulled out SG Nix as well as Hurricane Helen, is sent for home by Ross Coakley. Opens up a couple of lengths over Thunder Road, available Angel. Air of York down the outside late on the scene with SG Nix, but out in the lead, Hurricane Helen from available Angel. Uh, th they're away. A weem away was a, a market tough show. in play. They gravitate immediately towards the stand side, dropping in, cutting in behind regulator at the back. Uh, Morven is towards the fore and bags the rail there. That's a good maneuver from uh, Tor Hammer Hansen with alongside Turquoise Kingdom by the bay and on the outside on the right in the black seas, light blue cap. That's International Angel. They're chased then out wide by pedestal wide of a weem away, Le Gendar, and then Rickson in the yellow cap nearest the running rail, just following through Morven. Further back, Calamozzo and Regulator, Red Sleeves, Red Cap on the rail, is the third one back on the stand side running rail. So Morven just about holding sway to Turquoise Kingdom by the bay. They're followed by Rixham. And then behind these is Pedestal and Le Gendar in the striped jacket. Further back to Regulator, Calamozzo at the back of the field as they stretch on now towards the final two and a half furlongs. And Morven under the rail, Turquoise Kingdom, Le Gendar under under pressure by the bay green and yellow jacket international angel still on the wide outside they're chased then by rickson trying to find a way through a weem away is getting a bit closer as well pedestal regulator and calamozzo turquoise kingdom has just taken it up more than fading away out in the center a weem away stays on well here's le gendar as well and rickson now finding a bit of daylight it's uh, just turquoise kingdom though up towards the line from a weem away and turquoise kingdom the very well-bred turquoise kingdom wins there by market a suspended in second a weem away there are th racing for the sky market in play Festival handicap the features underway militia is out very fast in the pale blue and dark blue striped jacket mccree's away well in the beige jacket with the maroon sash and half sleeves and they're followed by dark shot white jacket blue headgear tucked in behind them denzel's laughing is next in yellow and white followed by the checks of mudabahi the yellow and maroon and out deep of those two victory angel in the black and red through the first couple of furlongs at pace they're closing in on the halfway point militia and graham lee in front dark shot has taken second mccree is back in third victory angel trying to pick up behind those over on the far side denzel's laughing and then uh, behind them mutabahi they're back towards the final following and a half militia off the front has opened up by a length mccree giving chase so too dark shot in the center denzel's laughing is next trying to finish from the back is victory angel but still militia inside the final half furlong they come militia's opened up by two to three dark shot can't respond in second victory angel through for third but up towards the line militia just about made all dark shot for market suspended Bem, que bela atrapalhada de dia hoje. Na prática não fiz muitas corridas. Não fiz muitas corridas. Não, não deu tempo para fazer muitas. Uh, comecei muito mal. Comecei logo com, com vários retos seguidos. Depois aqui endireitou. Depois estagnou outra vez. E depois aqui fui apanhado lá em contrapé. Estava a tentar fechar. E acabei por ser apanhado em lei duas vezes. Na, na outra que tinha, queria fechar e depois na outra e acabei por depois não subir pronto, não foi lá muito bom já vai o terceiro dia a seguir que isto não está fácil a ver como é que corre mas sinto que quer ganhar tudo muito, muito depressa quer ganhar muito de uma vez só e acaba por arriscar demasiado e depois, depois isto começa a correr mal ao início e depois começa a correr mal ao início e continua sempre a correr mal durante o resto do tempo porque ando sempre com pressão de querer fazer dinheiro mas pronto isto hoje não andou para grande coisa <risos> vamos ver como é que como é que fica para amanhã vá pessoal, partem-se bem <risos>